<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, welcome to Oilers After Dark episode 68. Post game reaction of the Edmonton Oilers and the Vancouver Canucks. Oilers win 4 2. Let's somberly play La Bamba, baby. As excited as I am about the Oilers' victory, I am also as equally bummed out about the Bruce Boudreaux firing. Now, this game had a lot. This game had... Uh, it didn't have a lot. This game was controlled, for the most part, by the Oilers. Vancouver's led, Vancouver led in shots for the early first bit. Oh, well. Oilers held the fort. Skinner got the start tonight. Good on him coming back in dad mode and getting the victory. All-star Skinner, 1-0, coming back on dad body. Um, Yeah, not really much to highlight. Shots are 29-29. Power play, 1-for-1 one one were the Oilers. 0-for-2 was Vancouver. And of note, the power play that the Oilers got wasn't too many men on the ice. Like, honestly, these refs are becoming increasingly a joke. But like an old person used to say to me, you will never beat, you will never win a game against the Zebras. They win 100% of the time. So you might as well just go out there, put all that bull crap, and just play around it. Fight through them, play through them. Find ways to win. And the Oilers did. Again, some more controversy in this game. We'll get into that a little later. Again, McDavid doing McDavid things. Hyman with a four-point night. Hyman now has a career high in points with 56. Hopkins had a three-point night. So because of that, we're going to put McDavid over in this corner because he just Sorry, no, no, my bad, my bad. We're not highlighting McDavid today. That was a different video at a different time. Tonight, we're highlighting Hyman here because obviously, four point night, career night, Hyman. And because of that, we're going to highlight Hopkins here, three point night again, doing some great things. And later on in the video, we're going to highlight Skinner. We're just going to let those two sit and simmer. So goal number one, starting out the gate, goes to McDavid, assisted by Hyman. I don't know how Hyman saw this man's, but he saw him. Block shot on the Oilers' end, goes to Hyman's stick. Hyman just whoop the daisy up the ice. It goes Connor with a breakaway. And you know this story. Connor gets a breakaway. He's going to score 8 out of 10 times. We're good, we're laughing, it's one nothing in Edmonton. Hey, let's party. We're in Vancouver tonight, let's party. Hey. And then we get a power play. Again, nobody saw it because it was going to commercial break. Apparently there's too many men on the ice. Only power play for the Oilers. Doesn't matter, we only need one. Hyman scores, assisted by McDavid and Hopkins. What do you know? Hyman, McDavid, Hyman, McDavid, McDavid to Hyman. Ooh, points each. So we're living, we're laughing. It's 2-0 after 1. Oilers hold the fort for the rest of the first period. Face some shots, make some saves. Skinner's doing well. Then the defensive lap happens in the second period. Sorry, jumped ahead of myself. Drysaddle gets a goal in the second period to make it 3-0. Assists go to Hyman and Hopkins. Man, that Hyman Hopkins steal, they're doing damage. Not on the power play, even strength. Like I said, one goal on the power play, only had one chance. But Oilers were up 3 0 halfway through the second period, thinking, hey, we're freaking laughing right now. These guys are firing their coach tonight. They obviously don't care to play for him. They have no heart. They don't give a crap about this guy. Let's just sit back, relax, enjoy the popcorn, and go home. Wait till Wednesday. We gotta go to Columbus to play them. Hey, all right, cool. That's how you want to play. This is the fucking NHL. You can't play like that. 
just like that. They were leaking left, right, and center on defense. Lucky that Skinner was making saves until Vancouver gets a breakaway. Cosman off. Scores. 3-1. All right. Still got 3-1 lead, right? 3-1 lead going into the third period. We got this. There's no way Vancouver's coming back, right? Wrong, oh, by oh, by oh boy. And were you wrong on that one again? Vancouver has the best period they played all night. The best 20 minutes Vancouver played was the third period. Thankfully, Skinner made some more good saves. Thankfully, the defense bent, but no, it didn't break. Blocked some shots, got the puck out when they needed. Wasn't enough. Miller slap shot on a lost faceoff. Scores 3 2. Now our arseholes are starting to pucker up a little bit because Vancouver knows they're playing for their coach. They know, regardless of the freaking outcome, they got their coach fired. Regardless of the outcome, they know their coach was being fired. And it's on those fucking players in that locker room that their coach is no longer going to be a coach of the Vancouver Canadiens. And it sucks. But we as Oilers fans have been there plenty Plenty of times by our coach being fired because it's easier to fire one than it is to trade 25. So we continue playing. Hyman gets a off the nuts goal. Did he? Looked like a goal to me. Seeing that goal counted this week alone, it was counted. Not this time. No, no, no. Goalie interference. Even though Hyman was behind the goalie when he. They just don't want Hyman scoring. I think Hyman leads the league in most disallowed goals. Oh, well. Oilers got to press. Oilers got to go through. Oilers got to work on it. Still got to get Vancouver from scoring that third game goal tied up. Empty net. One minute left. And wouldn't you know who to thunk it. A block shot again. Leads to an Oilers breakout. Hopkins has the puck. He gives it to Hyman, who gives it back to Hopkins. Hopkins hasn't been scoring as of late. He's been getting assists. Yes, assists are beautiful. Assists are amazing. But earlier in the game, Hopkins missed a wide-open net, hit the post. He scores an empty net goal. Hallelujah. Open up the clouds. Could this be the goal that gets him off the schneid and helps him propel him to score more? Let's hope so. Oilers win 4-2. Stuart Skinner faced 29, made 27 saves. Oilers are now in third place in the Pacific Division. Again, my name is Matt for Oilers After Dark. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Subscribe. Tell all your friends. Stuart Skinner. Want to know as a dad going to the All Star game, a rookie goalie? My mates, have yourself a day, Stuart.